So welcome everyone to another 30 minute yoga session. Today I'm going to focus on doing a bit more of a hatha flow, which just means it will follow the movement with the breath and maybe not hold for too long. So we'll flow from one move into the other. So just start by taking a cross leg seated position. So maybe just move the flesh of your buttocks to the side slightly so you can feel your sitting bones engage with the mat. And just feel your spine rising up out of your pelvis, resting your hands on your knees, and just closing down the eyes for a moment, and maybe just lifting up those shoulders to the ears and setting them back and down so you really feel them relaxing away from your ears. And just start to tune into the natural flow of your breath. So just notice the sensation of the breath coming in through the nose maybe feeling it going down the back of your throat. So not changing anything for the moment, just starting to notice your breath. By focusing on the breath, it helps you just arrive on your mat in this moment. So just trying not to think about anything else in particular in terms of what's gone before or what's to come, just trying to focus yourself in the here and now. So just taking some nice big inhalations through your nose and maybe just making that exhalation just a little bit longer. And maybe just noticing where that breath is landing in your body. Is it in your chest? Is it in your belly? And there's no right or wrong, it's just simply noticing And again, just tuning into your body. Are you holding any tension anywhere? If so, just try and send that breath into those areas. Really feeling like you're grounding down, feeling your sitting bones in connection with the mat, but also rising up. So in yoga, there's the concept of stahira and sukha, which is stability and ease. So it's finding that stability in your foundation. So feeling yourself engaged with the floor, but finding that ease in your breath and in your body. So just try and maintain that notion of stability and ease as we practice today, remembering not to do anything that feels like it's too painful and make modifications as necessary. I'll offer you some options. And again, it's all about being kind to yourself. So it's not about trying to create a perfect shape. It's just more about finding what feels good for your body. So we'll just take a few more moments here, maybe thinking about lengthening the exhalation. So notice that nice inhalation through your nose. And then just followed by an even longer exhalation. maybe just notice the sound of your breath as well. So you just visualize this ocean wave as you're breathing in and breathing out. And maybe just bring the awareness into your eyebrow center. So really bringing your awareness inwards. So just trying to focus on any bodily sensations. So yoga allows us those moments of stillness where we can really just check in with how we're feeling, whether that's physically or mentally or emotionally, just simply taking a few moments to notice. Lovely. So just another inhalation followed by a nice exhalation. And then just opening up the eyes. So from here, just take your left hand onto your right knee, and just bringing your right hand just a touch behind you. So keeping your chest lifted and your spine long and your sitting bones engaged with the mat, just inhale and gently start to twist from your lower back, your middle back and your upper back 
just over to the right hand side. So keeping that chest open, your spine is long. If it's okay for your neck, just bring your gaze over your right shoulder. And maybe just very gently on your exhalation, use your left hand just to move yourself further over to the right. So just taking a few moments here. Twists are really nice if you have any back problems. And also it's a range of motion you don't tend to do very much in everyday life. So just gently ease yourself round to the right. Tuning into your breath. Lovely. And then from here, inhale and just swing your arms around, this time taking your right hand on your left knee, placing your left hand just behind you. So try not to lean too much in that hand behind you. Just use it as a guide to keep your spine upright. And then breathing in. Breathing out again, just starting to turn, this time over your left shoulder. So feel like you're keeping your chest open, your spine is long, and just using your hand, resting on your knee, maybe just to inch yourself around. A bit more to the side. Tuning into your breath. And just see if you can send that breath down to your lower belly, into your ribs and up to your collarbone. So really nice, full, deep breaths. Lovely. And from here, just bring yourself back to centre. And now just take your hands out in front of you. So again, trying to keep your foundation stable on the floor. Just walk your hands slightly forward on your fingertips. So keeping your chest lifted and your spine long, just feel like you're really reaching up and forward. So then just holding for a few breaths, keeping your shoulders away from your ears. And then slowly start to move to the left. So just keep yourself upright, your chest is lifted, just move your hands over to the left, feeling that stretch maybe in the right side body, shoulders away from ears. And then gently walk your hands over to the right. So really feel like you're sending that breath into your side body, keeping your chest lifted, your shoulders away from your ears. And then bring yourself back to centre, pushing your hands to bring you back to an upright position. And again, just resting your hands on your knees. We'll just do an upright version of cat-cow. So breathing in, just feel like you're sending your chest forward and your head up to the ceiling. And then breathing out, start to curl your spine back round into that C shape, bringing your shoulders forward. So really starting to wake up your spine, breathing in, bringing your chest forward, your shoulders back, and then breathing out, sending your spine towards your back. So just follow this movement with your breath, breathing in as you bring your chest forward and up, and breathing out as you curl back round. So just visualise this nice space you're creating in your vertebra, waking up your spine. Just noticing the breath as you inhale through your nose and then exhale through your nose. And if it feels like too much to do it through your nose, you can of course use the breath out through your mouth. So just a couple more times here. And then we'll meet back in the center. So from here, take your hands over to the right hand side and come over onto all fours. And we'll just do a few moving cat cow positions here. So spread your fingers wide onto the mat, your feet 
are flat out behind you and your knees are under your hips. And breathe in, just push yourself back into an extended child's pose. So inhale and then think about sending your nose along your mat towards your hands. And then pushing yourself back up and round back into a cat cow and then just lowering yourself back down towards the mat bringing your nose along the mat and just repeat in your own time with your own breath so coming up and forward really pushing in between your shoulder blades when you're at the top then pushing back so your bottom heads towards your heels again following the movement with the breath So just one more round, breathing in, lifting up, breathing out, pushing in between your shoulder blades. Lovely, and then come back up to centre. And then step your left foot towards the top of your mat, followed by your right. And then hinging from the hips, leading with the head and the chest, pushing into the mat, coming up. To standing arms up overhead, hands back down into prayer. So we'll just stretch out the side body so I'll just move to the centre of the mat so you can see me. So breathing in, bringing your arms up overhead and grab hold of your left wrist with your right hand and then from here just breathe in and start to move over to the right hand side as far as feels comfortable. So just imagine you're in between two panes of glass, you're not leaning too far forward or too far back. Just moving over to the side, opening out the side body, just sending your breath into that lovely side body. And then breathing in, coming back up to centre and just switch hands, so this time taking your left hand over your right wrist. Inhale to lengthen and exhale, just come over to the sides. Holding for a few breaths, noticing your feet rooted down into the mat, your strong foundation. Lovely, and breathing and coming back to centre. And then from here, I want you to lift up your toes and place them back down on the mat. So your feet are hip width apart. Just imagine you've got this really stable base in your feet. And maybe lift up your kneecaps. And then breathing in, just bring your arms up to the side, hands meet above your head in prayer. And then folding forward from taking a hinge in the hips. So breathing in, hands still in prayer. So fold from the tops of your hips, or the tops of your thighs forward, maybe taking a bend in the knee, bringing your hands down towards the floor. And then breathing in, just bring your hands to rest on your shins or even the tops of your thighs looking forward. Then inhale, then exhale, taking your hands back down towards the mat and stepping back with your right leg into a high lunge. And if you wish, you can drop your knee here. And then breathing in, breathing out, take your left foot back to join your right. And then we'll lower ourselves down to the mat. So there's a couple of ways to do this. You can drop your knees, plant your toes down, and then just send your nose and your chest along the mat until you come into a cobra, a baby cobra, or if you're in plank, you can start to lean forward and then bring yourself down in plank position, moving along the mat. So we'll meet on the mat with our toes firmly planted behind us, tucking our tailbone under, our hands are just under our shoulders and breathing in, leading with your head on your chest, come forwards and up. So pull the mat, feel like you're pulling the mat away from you to keep your shoulder blades away from your ears. Inhale and then exhale, just lower back down to the mat. And just take your feet hip width apart and tuck under those toes and push into your hands so you're coming up onto your knees and then lifting your knees up off of the mat. Push into your hands to bring yourself into downward dog. So remember that motion here is to bring your chest 
towards your thighs. It's not necessarily about having straight legs. It depends how open your hamstrings are. So if you have tight hamstrings, take a bend in the knee and just think about bringing your chest towards your thighs. So really pushing into the underside of your fingers here. Feel like you're wrapping your shoulder blades around. Again, just tuning into your breath and if it feels nice, just pedal out the feet very gently just to warm up the hamstrings or just take a static downward dog but if you're walking your heels up and down try and make sure you're keeping your hips stable you're not rocking too far from side to side so we'll just hold here for another breath lovely and you can either drop the knee and bring the left foot towards the top of the mat or you can simply just bring your left foot towards the top of the mat in a high lunge or long lunge and then bring your right foot to join your left. So firmly planting your feet into the mat, breathing in, leading with your head and your chest, your arms come out to the side, up overhead, hands back down in prayer. So we'll repeat breathing in, arms up overhead, Hands in prayer, folding forward, so maybe taking a bend in the knee, bringing your hands down towards the mat. Then inhale, bring your hands on your shins, looking forward. Then inhale, exhale, hands down towards the mat. This time we'll step back with our left leg, followed by our right. So really pushing into the mat in high plank or drop the knees. And then lower yourself down to the mat. So if you're in a high plank, come forward, then bend at the elbows, bringing your nose along the mat. Rooting in those toes to the mat, tucking your tailbone under, so you're really curling your tailbone towards the mat. Inhale, lifting up your head and your chest. So by really rooting into your feet, it protects your lower back. Inhale, then exhale, lower back down to the mat. Taking your feet slightly apart, tucking under your toes, then pushing back up into downward facing dog. So again, really pushing into your fingers here, the underside of your palms, bringing your head towards your thighs and just gently walking up and down. So imagine you have those two golf balls underneath your armpits you're really trying to stop them falling out so bring your armpits round lovely just tuning into your breath and if at any point this feels like too much just drop down to your knees so just taking some nice inhalations and exhalations here and then if you wish, you can drop your left knee to the floor and bring your right foot to the top of the mat or just step your right foot to the top of the mat, followed by your left. And then leading with your head, inhale, arms up overhead, hands in prayer. And we'll just repeat, inhale, arms above the head, hands in prayer, exhale, folding forward, hinging from the tops of the thighs, hands towards your toes, inhale, hands on your shins, looking forward, inhale, then exhale, hands back down to the mat and stepping back with your right leg, then followed by your left in high plank, so really pushing the floor away from you here, inhale, then exhale, so you can drop the knees to the floor, and then bring your nose and your chest, towards the top of the mat, placing those toes back down, your elbows are tucked in, and then breathing in, leading with your nose and your chest, bring yourself up into baby cobra, inhale, exhale, lower back down, and spreading those toes, or tucking under the toes, taking your feet hip width apart, pushing into your hands, and then lifting up from your knees into downward dog so really pushing feel like you're pushing the floor away from you but your shoulders are away from your ears and your spine is long so we're looking for lengthening the spine yoga is about finding space so 
you feel anything contracting, just try and lengthen. And again, you can just paddle out the feet or have a static downward dog. But the aim is to try and have a nice long spine. So if it means you want to bend your knees and carry on. So just hold for another couple of breaths. Downward dog is really good for building strength in your arms and your shoulders. And obviously lengthening out your spine. So inhale, drop the right knee if you wish. Bring your left foot towards the top of the mat. Inhale, then exhale, bring your right foot forward. Then inhale, leading with your head in your chest and your arms coming out to the side, up overhead. Hands back in prayer, down towards your chest. And we'll just do that one more time. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, folding forward from the tops of your thighs. Hands down towards the mat. Inhale, hands on your shins, looking forward. Inhale, then exhale, hands down towards your feet. This time stepping back with your left leg. Followed by your right. And then inhale and exhale, whichever way you want. Bring yourself down towards the mat. So sweeping that nose along the floor. Pressing your ten toes back down into the mat. Your elbows are tucked in. Then inhale, lifting up with your head and your chest. So your feet are rooting down here. Inhale, then exhale, lowering yourself back down. Then tucking under those toes, pushing into your hands. Lifting your knees up off the mat and pushing back into downward dog. So taking your chest towards your thighs and your shoulders away from your ears and just check in with your hands. Just notice whether you're really pushing them into the mat. Tuning into your breath, just noticing that nice length you're feeling in your side body. Lovely, one more inhalation and then exhalation and this time dropping the left knee to the mat, bringing your right foot towards the top of the mat, stepping your left leg forward to join your right then pushing into your feet, leading with your head and your chest, breathing in, coming back to standing, bringing your hands down in front of you in prayer position, so just close down the eyes for the moment. So just notice your feet, just check in with your feet in terms of balanced evenly on the mat, lifting up your knees, bringing the energy up from the floor, up the front of your legs, and then just feel like your spine is extending out of your pelvis. Bring, maybe bring your shoulders up to your ears and back down, and then just push your chin slightly back in so your head is very heavy and sometimes can cause a strain on the back of the neck. So just make sure you're tucking in that chin your shoulders are back and down and just tune into your breath. Maybe you just notice your heart beating a little bit faster. Just notice if you're holding on to any tension and just try and breathe into those areas. Just let them go. Lovely, and then from here we'll just take our arms up out to the side again. Hands in prayer, folding forward. So again, taking a bend in the knee if that feels nicer for your hamstring. And then just send your hands towards the floor. So if you find that you have tight hamstrings again, just take a slight bend in the knee. But I want you to feel like you're hinging from the tops of your thighs and you're just letting your head and gravity take yourself down towards the mat. So from here you can just grab hold of each elbow if that feels nice or just let your arms hang. So just hold for a few moments here and imagine you're sending the underside of your buttocks up towards the ceiling. You're really rotating your tailbone up to the ceiling. 
And just tuning into your breath, just enjoying the sensation of stillness for a few moments. And maybe just moving your head in a yes or no direction, just to loosen out the neck. And maybe with each exhalation, you just find yourself releasing a little bit further, even a millimetre or two, further down towards the mat. And just enjoying this opening in the back of the legs. Lovely, and then from here, take your hands down to the mat and take your left leg far back into a runner's lunge and just lift up your chest so your fingertips may be on the floor here or you may have your hands flat on the floor but I want you to think about having your chest lifted in this really nice opening in your hip flexors so particularly at the moment if we're inside a lot and sitting down a lot these hip flexors can become quite weak and need a good stretch so this is just really nice to open out your hip flexors keep your chest lifted so you're up on the ball of your back foot, just looking forward, just tuning into your breath. Lovely. And then from here, send the energy into your front foot to push yourself to an upright position and then just take the heel of that back foot and rest it down on the mat. So just check in with your feet, just to see that the front heel is in line with the arch of the back foot. And then from here, just start to bend into that front knee again, checking that your, your knee is not overshooting your heel or your toes, and it's not wobbling from side to side. And then bring your torso to an upright position and then breathe in and open out the arms into warrior two. So just feel like the back hip is or the thigh is rotating out. You're really opening out the pelvis here. Your arms are long, your chest is long. Your shoulders are away from your ears. And really push into the outside edge of that back foot. So again, this is your strong foundation, providing a stable base in your lower half of your body. So maintaining that stable base, we'll just do a reverse warrior. So breathing in, flip your front right palm so the palm is facing towards the ceiling and then start to rise it up in the air, bringing your left arm through to the front. So just hold here for a couple of breaths. So keeping that foundation stable, breathing and bringing your arms back out, outstretched either side. And then start with your right hand to lean forward towards your right knee. And then bring that right elbow down onto your right knee. So keeping your chest lifted and open, breathing in and bring your left hand and sweep it in front of your face. And so that left arm, just imagine you've got this line of energy from your back foot going in a diagonal direction all the way to the tips of your fingers and use your elbow on your knee to lift your chest and just imagine that you're rotating your chest towards the back of your mat so if it feels more comfortable for your shoulder you can always rest that top hand on that hip and feel like you're opening out your chest so find what works for you inhale and exhale lovely and then pushing into that right foot breathing in bringing your arms up to parallel breathing out and then this time bring both of your feet facing the long edge of your mat so from here pushing into the outside edges of your feet we'll just do a forward fold so taking our hands on our hips Inhale, 
and then exhale, feel like you're coming up and over. So really pushing into your toes and the outside edges of your hips, of your hips, of your feet, folding forward. So this may be enough. You just may want to keep your spine parallel here. Or if you feel like you have a bit more openness, you can bring your head down towards the floor. So again here, you can just have your arms dangling in front of you or just grab hold of each elbow but feel like you're sending the backs or the underside of your buttocks up towards the ceiling but again maintaining that stability in your foundation so the outside edges of your feet so just folding forward for a couple more breaths Lovely, and then from here, pushing into your feet, place your hands back on your hips, leading with your head and your chest, come back to an upright position. So this time we're turning out our left foot. So our left foot is pointing towards the short edge of our mat, checking in with our heel that it's aligned with the arch of the back foot. And then inhale, just breathe in and lean into that front foot. So bending that left leg, so your knee is in line with your heel, you're opening out through your pelvis and you're rooting down into the back of that right foot and then bring your torso so it's rising up out of your pelvis and inhale and bring your arms into warrior. So I have a bit of a troublesome shoulder so I'm just going to bring my back arm to rest on my hips. But everyone else you can bring your arms into a T-shape. Then glance over the front fingers, inhale, so really opening out through the chest, bringing your shoulders back and down, just feel yourself stable in your foundation. So just hold for a couple of breaths. And then we'll do a reverse warrior, so breathing in, flip that front hand that front palm up towards the ceiling, then inhale and then exhale, bring that left hand up over your head and your right hand forward. So pushing into that back leg, keeping your foundation strong. Lovely, and then inhale, bringing your arms back into warrior two so I'm just going to rest my hand on my hip here and then inhale start to bring your left hand lean over to the front of your left toes and then exhale just bring that left hand this time down towards your left knee so resting that elbow on the knee and really pushing into your elbow so it opens out your chest rotating your chest up towards the ceiling Make sure you're pushing into the back foot. Then inhale, bring that right arm, sweep it in front of your face into extended side angle pose. So again, that energy is coming from the outside edge of your back foot, all the way up the side body, all the way up to the tips of your fingers. So I'm just gonna rest my hand on my hip So really feel like you're opening up the chest, you're not collapsing down onto that left leg. You're really pushing that left leg away from you, creating that space in your side body. Lovely, and then inhale, pushing into that front leg, coming back up to standing, and then we'll bring again our, both of our toes to face the long edge of the mat. And this time you can either have your hands on your hips or you can raise your arms up overhead. Hands in prayer, inhale and folding forward, exhale. So trying to maintain that foundation as you fold forward. So pushing into the outside edges of your feet, keeping that foundation strong. So again, you can rest your hands down on the mat and just let your head hang heavy. 
And if you want to open out your shoulders, you can just bring your hands behind your back, clasp your hands together, and then raise them up as your head hangs down in between your legs, but really feel like you're sending your shoulders away from your ears here, opening out your chest. Lovely, just another breath here. And then we'll all just bring our hands down towards the floor in the centre. And then take your right hand and you can either bring it onto your left foot or your shin or just towards your foot, depending on how open you feel in your lower back. So again, your foundation is strong, your legs are still stable, pushing into the outside edges of your feet. And you can bring your left hand to rest on your left hip. So really twisting from the lower back, the middle back and the upper back, bringing your chest up towards the ceiling. And if it feels okay for your arm, you can just raise it straight up to the ceiling. Lovely, so just another breath here. And inhale, exhale, bringing both hands back to centre. And this time we'll take our left hand towards our right foot. So this time you can either touch your left hand on your foot or just bring it towards your foot on the mat. But just think about your chest and your spine lifting out of your pelvis and then you're twisting from your lower back your middle back and your upper back. So just taking that right hand on your right hip this time. And if you wish, you can extend that right arm up to the ceiling. Lovely, and then inhale, exhale, bringing your hands to center and just shuffle your feet towards the center of the mat and then bring yourself up to an upright position. So we'll just spend a couple of moments in Tadasana Mountain Pose. So again, this is where your feet are hip distance apart. So that's roughly about two fists distance. And lift up your toes and place them back down. So just feel like you're really evenly balanced in all corners of your feet. And then feel like you're lifting up the energy from the floor through the front of your thighs, so lifting up your knees. And your pelvis is just resting in a what feels like a neutral position, so not too far forward or back. Then lifting up out of your pelvis, your spine is long, like you're dangling from a piece of string. Bring your shoulders up to your ears and back down. And just make, make sure your ribs aren't flaring out, so tuck those ribs towards your spine, pulling in your navel. And just really pushing out through your fingers as well, so everything is active. So. Mountain pose is another good example of finding that stability and ease. We're stable in our foundation, we're finding that ease in our body. So just spending a few moments to tune back into your breath. Noticing that wave-like motion of the breath coming in through your nose and down your throat all the way into your belly, into your ribs, and up to your collarbones. So just another breath here. And then breathing in, we'll just raise our arms up over our head hands in prayer, folding forward. And then just dropping ourselves down onto the mat. And we'll just find ourselves on our back for a few moments. So feel your spine extending out along the mat, your feet are towards your bottom. Place your hands out beside you, really pushing into the mat so you can almost brush the back of your heels with your fingers. And we'll just gently do a few gentle rotations of the spine up and down. So curling under your tailbone, breathing in, 
lift your pelvis off the floor and start to send it towards the ceiling. So lifting each vertebrae up off of the mat one at a time until you're at the top and then just exhale, lowering back down. So do this in your own time with your own breath. Lovely, so inhale, pushing your hands into the mat, lifting up that pelvis. Exhale, back down onto the mat. We'll just do that one more time, inhale, curling that tailbone up, lifting that pelvis up to the ceiling and exhale back down to the mat. And we'll just do a few gentle twists before you lie down for a few minutes of relaxation. So take your feet so they're the distance of your mat apart. So they're wide on your mat. And then inhale and then exhale, send both of your knees to the left. So your left knee will fall out to the side and it'll feel like your right knee is falling inwards. So if you have the space for your arms, you can take them out into a T shape or bend them at the elbow in terms of cactus arms. So try and keep your shoulders engage with the mat and just let your knees or gravity take hold of your knees as they start to send you over to the left hand side and if it's okay for your neck you can take your gaze over your right shoulder and then inhale bringing your knees gracefully back up to the center and then just repeat over onto the other side. So letting your knees fall over to the right, your left knee fall in and your right knee fall out and taking your gaze over to the left. Just tuning back into your breath. And then inhale, bringing your knees back up to center. And then bring your knees in towards your chest, taking your hands onto your kneecaps. And just doing a few circles in whichever direction you want, just to open out and massage out the hip flexors. And then just repeat in the opposite direction. Lovely. So from here you can go straight into Shavasana, corpse pose for relaxation. So grab hold of any extra layers or blankets and you can have, if you feel like you have a twingy back, just have your feet again as wide as the mat and let your knees fall in together. Just taking your hands down by your side and turning your palms up or otherwise stretch your feet out the length of the mat and let your feet fall apart and just check in with your spine, lengthening it along the mat, relaxing your shoulders down, maybe just tucking in your chin slightly so your neck is lengthening out along the spine. And so I'll leave you here just to take some really nice long deep inhalations followed by exhalations. And just doing a body scan up and down your body, just noticing if you're holding in any tension. So stay here for a few moments. And thank you for joining me today. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and I will meet you next time for another yoga session. Thank you. Namaste.